talking about growth, how did you grow your Instagram? Because you're now sitting at like 13.1 thousand, I think. So how did you go from like in the song you referenced from like 50 likes to like 300 likes? Like yeah. What did you do to start seeing that growth? Okay, so there's multiple things. And I'll say right off the bat, I have an app that helps me grow. Okay. But if, if you're trying to grow your Instagram and you're not using an app, you're doing it wrong. Really? So that's, but that's only one component. The second component is fantastic content. Yeah. Third component is actually like talking to people, engaging with people, um, like DMing people back and forth, like really building relationships. Yeah. And the last thing is like collaborating. Mm -hmm. Collaborating is huge and people don't realize how important that is because you can collaborate with people who are on your level. Yeah. Same type of audience is what you're looking for. And you just flip each other's audience, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's genius. So I'll start with quality content because that's what really matters. If your Instagram sucks, you're not going to get followers. People yeah. aren't going to care, right? So let me tell you how psycho I am when it comes to content. My Instagram, aside from a few vacation photos, my old, sorry, my old Instagram, because I just deleted everything and yeah. revamped it. My old Instagram had 32 posts. Probably three of those were vacation photos. Yeah. Maybe a couple of those were show photos. But the other, like, say, 25 photos were taken in two days. Okay. All 25 photos were taken in two days. Yeah. None of them had duplicate outfits. Yeah. So I'll literally find a photographer, say, hey, let's let's work for, for four hours, whatever. I come with a tub of, like, probably like three or four pairs of jeans. You don't need a lot of pants. Yeah. But bring, like, 12, 13, 14 different shirts. Yeah. And, like, seven, eight jackets. Okay. Because jacket on is an outfit, and as soon as you take the jacket off, you just have the shirt. That's a whole new outfit. Mm -hmm. And so we'll 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 go park somewhere, and we'll go to this location. As soon as we get a good photo, I'm not looking for a fantastic photo. I just yeah. need a quality photo. I take the jacket off. We move. We take another photo. As soon as we get a good one, we move. We yeah. switch the shirt now. Okay. Switch the shoes. Yeah. So I'm trying to get a bulk content as fast as I can, so that I don't have to try to get photos every week. Yeah. So. I'll do a photo shoot and I'll have 14 weeks of content because I, I post about once a week when I'm posting. Yeah. So quality content is the first thing and just get a photographer, just hit up a photographer, either pay them or either say, look, I can offer you, um, these connections. I can offer you, um, this exposure. I know these people, I can, yeah. whatever, like you, it, people always forget it doesn't have to be money, right? Like that's what I do all the time. I'm like, look, I have this value outside of monetary offer it. If they don't want it, that's fine. Some other photographer will take it because mm -hmm. photographers are at all different levels yeah. and honestly I'm not looking for the craziest photos so as long as you can point a camera and shoot it well that's all I need yeah and like everyone's a photographer nowadays right so trying to find someone that's like trying to make it as a photographer exactly so the second thing I'll talk about having an app because having an app is so important and what you can do is you can super target um, specific people in your niche yeah and for people who don't know what that means is like I'm a digital marketer yeah people who need my service specifically like very specifically are people in e-commerce that's one area that i i see that they need a digital marketer because a lot of these e-commerce guys they're very good at building stores choosing products working with suppliers uh doing customer support all that stuff yeah. when it comes to actually marketing online they don't get it mm -hmm. so i was like look that's my opportunity so what i'll do is i'll find huge e-commerce pages and i'll super target them through my app and it will engage with the people who engage with the content on those pages. Okay. So essentially like thinking back, it's going to engage with people who are interested in e-commerce. Yeah. Therefore they probably have e-commerce stores. Therefore they probably need my service. Yeah. So when they come to my page and see Facebook advertising expert, it's like, Oh, like yeah. that's what they need. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's perfect. So that's, I don't have an app because I'm trying to gain follows. I have an app because I'm trying to get money and gain yeah. business. I get mad DMs from people every single day like, oh, you do Facebook ads. Like, I need help. I'll just jump on calls with people. I'll charge them because a lot of them are in the U.S. Yeah. Just just doing calls all day. You know what I mean? Yeah. So having an app is important because you can't sit there all day and like stuff mm -hmm. and engage with people. So this works while you're asleep. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You, you're literally getting business opportunities while you're asleep. Yeah. That's why having an app is important. Um, then, yeah. What I say, engaging with people, huge. Yeah. When people comment, comment back. Go comment on people's pics. Never think you're too big or too cool to like tell someone. I love that. Like I love what yeah. you just did there. That's amazing. You know what I mean? That goes a long way. Not just connecting with that person, but now other people see you commenting that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, collaborating is huge because, like, say 
I have a thousand followers and he has a thousand followers and we both make music. Let's do a song together. And obviously your audience is not going to hear me. My audience is going to hear you. It's mutually beneficial. We don't have to pay each other. Yeah. Post it on the stories, do this, whatever. So that's like free ways to gain it. All those, all those ways are great. Yeah. So like when you're talking about like engagement, it's almost like the dollar eighty strategy. Have you heard of that? No. That's Gary Vee's thing. So it's like you pick like the top like ten hashtags in your in your niche, and you go and comment on like you know how when you search a hashtag, there's like the top nine, yeah. and then there's the rest. You give like your two cents in the top nine. So you do that for all nine posts across like the top ten hashtags, yeah. and that's two cents times ten times like, like ninety is okay. like dollar eighty. Oh. So it's kind of like the same thing as what you're yeah. saying, right? That doesn't seem like because you always got to look at like how much time things take versus how much value you're going to gain from it. Yeah. So, you know, commenting on nine things isn't that difficult. I think that's, you know, very reasonable. It's a good strategy. Yeah. So with the app, so it's, so it kind of like it does the commenting and the liking for you. No comments. No, no comments. You don't want commenting, yeah. bro. Yeah. Because commenting, you can tell when it's a bot for sure. And you can also comment on inappropriate stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I, cause I, I've had it before and it yeah. was brutal. See, okay. Cause when I'd be scrolling my feed, like I'd see, it's like, you know, how you get recommended posts. I'd see them and it's because you liked it. I'd be like, how did you find this guy? So yeah. that explains like how... Absolutely. It just super targets pages. It's yeah. genius. If you're not doing it, you're losing because someone else is. Yeah. So you're almost using the app for more business than like an influencer perspective, right? Yeah. Because I don't care about growing my Instagram. I care about keep getting business opportunities. Yeah. And then so we're using that when you're doing hip hop too. Is that like how you grew? Yeah. That's how I grew it. But before I didn't really understand the business side of it, yeah. it was more like, this is a way that I can get fans. Yeah. I wasn't actually trying to like DM people and make deals and stuff. Mm-hmm. So now it's, I've kind of taken that a step further. Yeah. So now you're using it almost as like just a way to find people to get clients more than, absolutely. more than become yeah, like an influencer absolutely. basically. Absolutely. Cause to me, yeah. Instagram, Instagram followers don't make you money. Yeah. So, so like, cause, cause I know cause Instagram like is starting to like shadow ban those bots. So but, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like for your sake, it probably doesn't make that much difference because you're using it to find clients. And if it's liking these posts for you, even though Instagram's, but it basically what the shadow ban is, is it's like anyone, like you won't come up and recommend it. You won't come up in like the discovery feed. Yeah. But because you're liking those feeds, it's already super targeting the people you want to see it. Yeah. So it probably works for your and business the thing perspective. Is, the thing is, is, is once you get to a certain number of followers, yeah. when you post a photo, you're pretty much guaranteed to come up in the top nine posts yeah. of that hashtag. Yeah. So when I post like digital marketing, I, I'm always top nine. Any hashtag there, I'm pretty much always top nine for at least 12 hours. Yeah. So that's that's also another way that. So just based off like the shadow banning stuff, would you almost recommend like if you're trying to use it to get clients and stuff, you should use a use the app. But if you're just trying to grow it to become like an influencer, maybe not. Like where do you think? I don't know. No, I don't know because I I I, ha- I I don't know enough about the shadow ban, and yeah. I'm not trying to become an influencer. So that's fair. Yeah, it, it's something that if you're interested in it, you have to definitely do your research before because yeah. you don't want to you don't want to screw up your Instagram account through a yeah. shadow ban. That's fair.